Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of She Plays Ark Survival Evolved. Now, before we get back into the game, I wanted to show this off because I thought this was kind of cool. Because when I recorded the first few episodes, uh, this was not available for the single player. But I guess this is available not only for single player, but also if you're hosting a server, you've, all of these settings right here were not available. So you can you can customize your max structure range, the day night spike, the day night cycle speed, time speed, your damage that you're taking, dinosaur damage, structure damage. Oh my goodness, it just goes into detail. What I might do just for the uh, live streams, I'm gonna I'm gonna looks like I'm gonna speed up taming speed just a little bit, not not entirely, just a little bit. Normally, like it just stays around there. Um, I'm also going to there was one other one I think I wanted. It's, yeah, I want to increase the dinosaur count just a little bit as well. So we're gonna see if maybe we're gonna have a little bit more dinosaurs running around the island, which will be awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get back into the game, shall we? And we're back into the game. Awesome, awesome. Whew. Loading into the game, we can see that both Leonardo and Mojo are still doing A-OK, -okay, aren't you guys? Aren't you? Yes, you are. So we need to find Mojo a mate. But before we do that, we need some flint. Oh, man, but it's... Okay, so it's nighttime, so there's a lot of things we need to... Ooh, Dodo, check it out. Already. Like five minutes in. Oh, but we have no narco berries. Let's see if Leonardo saw us. Oh, wait, no, we, I think we fed him the rest of the narco berries. Yeah, we did. All right. So, uh, hmm. Give me just a second, and I will get some narco berries. Wow. So, um, while harvesting some narco berries, or at least trying to, this spawn, it's a green one, I think. I don't know for sure if we can get the green one or not. So, I guess we're just going to have to wait until it comes down first. And then we can... Then we can find out if, uh, if we can harvest it or not. I know I could get the... I think I can get the green one. The green one might be level 15. So, it... I was like, where'd the light go? So we might not actually be able to get it, you know, that I think about it. Okay, narco berry. So let us wait until it gets down, and then we're going to see if we can actually harvest the green. Let's see, it's starting to come down. This alien drops of doom. It's so weird harvesting on the side of a cliff. Because my camera gets all tilty and wilty, and I'm like, what is going on here? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's wait till it comes down. Oh! It's getting closer to the ground, and we're going to get it. I think I have enough narco berries. I've got five. It's just a dodo. Dodos don't usually require a lot. Hooray! It's landed! Well, hello, little thingy. You are level 15, aren't you? Why don't you be level 15? Oh! Oh, it's not! Awesome, awesome. Wait! No, no, no. Oh, I can demolish it. But I can't access it. Why can't I access it? I don't want to demolish it. It's a supply crate. Why would I want to demolish it? Well, considering I can't access it, let's see what happens. PVE demolish allowed. Which is kind of nice to have the lighting, but we can't access it. So, let's see what happens. Is it going to leave the item below? I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I figured as much. Well... We couldn't get into it anyway. I think it was like a level 15. So, if I can't have it, no one can have it, despite the fact that there's no one on this server. So anyway, let's get just a couple more narco berries just to be on the safe side. We'll tame another dodo, that way, well, hopefully it's a female dodo. Because Mojo is a male, so if you are also a male, then I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't want man. Are you a male or are you a female? Am I wasting my time? You are a male. How dare you be a male? You will suffer for this! Suffer! Should have been a female. I would have let you live. This is an only female section. Alright, so. <clears throat> that was a wasted time. So, as you can see, the beautiful green tower there. Oh my goodness, I realize I'm running low on up. Inventory space as you can see the little thingy in the right corner there um, right below my XP bar Even though I'm like super close to my XP bar is uh, getting pretty full. We don't need that getting full because if it's too full then We won't be able to carry anything. Hello Leonardo. Can you carry a few things for me? Good boy. Thank you. You're a wonderful chap. 
one old shop indeed. My goodness, it's still too dark much to do anything, but we did just level up just by placing things on our wonderful turtle, Leonardo. And what I think I will do is probably put that into my oxygen, because we might swim later. Alright, so as you can see, when you leveled up, I forgot what level I just hit, level 7. A couple more things have unlocked to me, although these kind of unlocked at level 6. Um, so I can make a Theomia saddle, saddle if I wish, but I probably don't want to make a Theomia saddle just yet. I think what I want to make is a raptor saddle first. Raptors would be interesting to tame and they are very, very useful. Um, I could craft some more clothes, but at the moment I don't really need them. I could also make a water skin. I do need to make a door, so let's go ahead and just get that out of the way. Storage box is also quite useful. And a sleeping bag, because if you die, you'll want a sleeping bag in order to teleport back to. So these are things that unfortunately we absolutely need. Um, well, I guess you don't absolutely, absolutely need them. We got six points. Why not make a mortar? Well, maybe we'll save it for the bed. It's hard to decide. Now, the thing about the sleeping bag and the bed is a sleeping bag is a one-time use. So if you die and you teleport to your sleeping bag, you're only going to get teleported there once, and then you'll have to make another sleeping bag in order to teleport there again. But if you have a bed down, the bed is a little bit more permanent, so that would be a much more permanent solution. So it's nice that it's finally becoming daytime around here. We need to actually start going out and getting some stuff done. Hello, Mr. Tree. What do you think you're doing? You can't bark your face right there. That's where my house is. Yeah, look at how amazing my little structure is. But anyway, what we need to do is um, I need to find some rocks. So because I need rocks and flint. We need that for things like um, stuff. So let us go on a rock journey and I will come back to you as soon as I find some rocks. On my journey to find rocks I came across this beautiful little specimen. Look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? You're gonna be one of our friends. You wanna be a friend? Come on. Come on. You're gonna be a friend. Are you unconscious yet? Oh my god, you're level 20. Oh, she's unconscious. She's unconscious. It worked. All right. We need to tame her. Let's throw some berries on there. These dodos love the yellow berries, so we'll give her some of those. All right. Now we get to play taming the dodo. Look at that. Already, the taming effectiveness is at 20%, but oh my goodness, one more hit and she would have been a goner. We couldn't have that now, could we? So, we did manage to find our female dodo, but unfortunately no luck finding rocks just yet. And all I did was like go like three feet down the beach. Um, and I was like, heard the, the coo of the dodo. Uh oh. Okay, we can't lose her. I don't want to lose you. You're beautiful. You're going to lay me lots of eggs. You will stay unconscious. Stay unconscious, good dodo. Yes. We must keep you unconscious so as you may be our slave at a later time. Hopefully a dinosaur will not eat your face. No, we cannot have a dinosaur eat your face. Because you will be laying lots and lots of eggs. Honestly, as much females as I can get, I would love to get. Unfortunately, what I realized upon having dodos um, on the base with my friends is that the eggs deter- or they will, um, deteriorate a lot faster than let's say if you were to pick them up so the dodo will lay the egg and the egg will go away like super fast now one thing's kind of cool about the fact that the dinosaurs can lay the eggs uh oh okay is that um the developers even though they said originally they have no intention of having the eggs being able to hatch at a later time and us be able to raise baby dinosaurs um they, they said that they may actually put it into consideration at a future patch, and I think that that's freaking awesome, especially considering they plan to have this game go off to be a console game. And I'm like, oh heck yeah, we're going to be able to breed and raise dinosaurs? That would be even more awesome. Oh, where did she go? Where did she go? I can hear her. I can hear you eating. There you are. <laughs> That's the biggest issue with dodos, is because they're so tiny, it's so easy to lose track of them. Alright, so her torpor 
you want to keep the torpor around as high as possible, so around 64 as much as possible. And she is already about 60% tamed, so up upping the taming speed uh, really certainly helped. So hopefully we can get her tamed. And then Mojo will have himself a mate! And they'll be having lots of eggies together. Which also makes me think that if they allow us to breed and raise dinosaurs from eggs, will there be baby dinosaurs added into the game? If they add baby dinosaurs into the game, that would be amazing. I really don't think that's what they're going to do. Oh, little Stegosaurus, don't scare me like that. You're a you, 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 you're a you, you. Where are you going? Oh, I was only complimenting you. I didn't mean it. Okay. Stegosaurus being kind of a meanie. That's okay. That's all right. We're going to... We'll have a dodo. We're going to have our own new friend. And then you don't even have to be our friend. Although Stegosaurus would be extremely useful. They're great at gathering things. But anyway, what I realized is we're actually getting really close to the end. I can't believe how short I have to make these episodes because of YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, once again. All right, so we have Mojo. So we're going to have Jojo. Mojo and Jojo. Mojo, Jojo. Are you following? Yeah, you're following. Let's take you home. You'll have lots of friends. And we're going to be good buddies. Now, oh, yeah, so in this episode, you'll be able to find out what happens when a male and a female get really close. Come on, Jojo. Waddle faster. Waddle faster. You can do it. You can do it, little Jojo. Look at you go. Look at you go. Look at you. So, she's so fast. For a dodo. What is that? Oh, another dorsal fin. You really gotta watch these waters. So they've also been planning to add two more d new dinosaurs into the game, which hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on, um, or at least be able to see. Uh, I guess one of them is kind of like a shell dinosaur. I can't. I forgot what the heck it's called. I'll have to look it up. Oh, here we go. All right. So since Jojo is close, you can see right above his name and her name, it says mate boosted. So they are now that they are together, they are actually stronger. So the more you know, the more that shall become. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this episode. I apologize that it was so short and all we really did was tame another dodo. Um, if you are interested in watching me do some multiplayer with my friends, uh, feel free to check out the link below, which should include... Whoops, let's not do that. Which should include a link to my live stream channel, and I am live streaming Final Fantasy XIV as well as Ark Survival Evolved, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye!